Zachary Gitao. Let's begin with the latest. Now, a congressional delegation from the U.S. met with President Uhuru Kenyatta, President-elect William Ruto, and former Prime Minister Rilo Dinga. The delegation, led by junior, state, uh, junior United States Senator from Delaware, Christopher Andrew Coons, jetted into the country on Wednesday, August 18th. Here's the latest. Hot on the heels of Kenya's general election, a congressional delegation from the United States touched down in the country. Led by junior senator from Delaware, Chris Coons, Kenya is its third stop on a five-country Africa tour, a visit that comes at a critical transitional time. President-elect Dr. William Ruto held talks with the Coons-led congressional delegation from the United States in the company of U.S. Ambassador to Kenya, Meg Whitman, at the current office in Nairobi. It means welcome. <laughs> the talks touched on the just concluded election in the country and areas of cooperation between Kenya and the United States, each side committing to deepen relations and further partnership for the mutual benefit of citizens of the two countries. I was encouraged uh, to hear from the Deputy President uh, a commitment to respect um, the process and to continue to call for a reconciliation. In a recent speech he gave at the BOMAS, he said, I, I hope to be a president for all Kenyans and to not pursue any political retribution. Similarly, President Uhuru Kenyatta met with the delegation at State House where the senator made a case for continued peace. Kenyatta, on his side, reiterated Kenya's commitment to the principles of good governance. Um, a hope that I expressed today in talking with him uh, that there would be a peaceful transition of power. Uh, I commend that he is respecting the Constitution and leaving office after two terms. Uh, we talked some about the important role he has played regionally um, to help with negotiations in the DRC, uh, to help with negotiations in Ethiopia, and I encouraged uh, President Kenyatta to think about ways uh, after his presidency concludes where he might continue to play a constructive regional peacemaking role. Later on, the president met with an interfaith delegation that included Anglican Archbishop Jackson Olesapit, Archbishop Anthony Muheria, and Deputy Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Muslims Kenya, Hassan Olenado. They commended the president's leadership, which has ensured peace and cohesion. Odinga and his running mate, Martha Karua, affirmed the resolve to challenge the election outcome in court. Prime Minister Odinga uh, also said today that uh, he's calling for his supporters to be calm and to respect the process. So uh, I think all of that is a positive. This visit is a political deja vu of sorts as U.S. Congressman Chris Coons made a similar visit to Kenya right after the 2017 general election. He was instrumental in nudging the then ARC rivals President Uhuru Kenyatta and former Premier Raila Odinga towards a political handshake in early 2018. It remains to be seen if this visit will have a bearing on how the political situation in the country shapes up. Trix Ingado, KTN News. Thank you. All right, from Mata's peaceful transition, we shift focus to the back 